a walking tour of the real Hollywood Boulevard. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. And in this video, I'm going to walk you down Hollywood Boulevard, not just the movie parts, but the parts that maybe a lot of people don't see. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I see. But first, I want to start with this map so you can see what we're doing in this walk. Okay, so first, I want to start with this map. We are starting the walk right here at Hollywood and Highland at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, the Chinese theater. We're going to take a look at all of those. We're going to go through old Hollywood and then right down here we're gonna end at the Hollywood Pantages Theater but panning back a little bit that's the famous wax museum there's a really neat souvenir store called La La Land back there and then just to the left this place the Roosevelt Hotel is a historic hotel in Hollywood pretty neat to check in the lobby of that when you come I'm not gonna walk through it today but I'll leave that for you when you come so this part of Hollywood Boulevard you can see there are the stars there down on the sidewalks this is where most people come. This is what you see on television when you see uh, the awards here in Hollywood. The Dolby Theater is here, so this is where they give away the Oscars. You'll see them here. The most famous part of Hollywood Boulevard is definitely right here in front of the classic Chinese theater. This is where a lot of the really old hand prints and things like that that you see are on the ground. And this theater is one of the classic theaters in Los Angeles, and it's still got this kind of Chinese-ish roof on it, uh, showing no time to die, 007, right here today. A lot of times out here, there will be a lot of people dressed up as Batman or Spider-Man. I'm shooting this in October of 2021, so the pandemic is still going on, so there are not very many international tourists here, so this is not nearly as busy as it'll be when tourism starts to come back again or as busy as it was a couple years ago. Now this walk, it's gonna be about a mile that we're gonna be walking and you'll see a lot of people often shoot videos here. These people are doing some video interviews. Um, I don't know what they're doing for, but they have a crew of about four or five people. You'll see a lot of sightseeing bus tours. They start here in front of Hollywood and Highland. Uh, and there will also be a lot of people on the streets trying to offer you tickets to see show tapings. A lot of people often ask me, Chris, are those real show tapings they're offering tickets for? I mean, there could be some that are scams, but a lot of them are real because actually right here, this is where Jimmy Kimmel Live records his show. A lot of classic theaters still here on Hollywood Boulevard. The El Capi 10 currently showing uh, somewhat Dancing with the Stars, special screenings, Disney's Encanto, Disney Store next to it, Ghirardelli Ice Cream. And you can see here some of these tours getting ready to go. You can get your name on a Hollywood store. There are some people that just bring stars along with them. And uh, you can pay to get your name on their star that they put there. Maybe a kind of cool souvenir to bring back from Hollywood Boulevard. I've seen a few people doing that today. Here's a lot more of these hop on, hop off bus tours. Uh, maybe makes sense if you don't have a rental car um, because uh, if you're staying here in Hollywood or LA, the public transit's actually pretty decent. There's a decent subway that runs through here. So that might be a good alternative if you don't have a car. If you do have a car, I would just say drive around. Now, this is the Hollywood and Highland shopping mall that they're currently remodeling. So there's not much going on in there, but that is where I typically park when I come to Hollywood. Uh, and that was in fact where I parked today. But you will see tons of people taking pictures and selfies right here. And I think a lot of people never get off these two blocks, uh, which is why I wanna show you what the, what the rest of it looks like. And so we'll be coming up on that in a second. I mentioned that LA has a pretty good subway. Right here is the entrance to the uh, LA Metro, as they call it. That's the subway. You can see we've got a couple security guards keeping the peace down there, as they should. Let's take a look at the map so you can see where this subway goes. We right now are at the Hollywood and Heinland station on the red line. It'll go to Hollywood and Vine, where we're checking out in a little bit. It goes up to Universal Studios, and you can actually see, this is the whole rail map through Los Angeles. A lot of people don't realize it, but there actually is a pretty extensive rail network here. And But I think the red line is the best for tourists because uh, you can take that from Hollywood to Universal Studios, and then you can take it down here to downtown Los Angeles. You can take the train all the way to uh, downtown Santa Monica to the beach as well. 
It'll take you about an hour, but you can do it. Oh, this is a kind of cool looking place. The Icons of Darkness, the exhibition. Looks like a lot of scary, spooky things in there, probably for Halloween. Okay, the crossing is on, so I'm gonna speed up to get across this street. A lot of the streets in Hollywood have turned into these scramble crossings that you can go diagonally, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, and we're gonna go over to Ripley's, believe it or not. We are crossing Highland and Hollywood Boulevard. That's why that shopping center is called Hollywood and Highland, because it's at the intersection of those two streets. Ripley's, believe it or not, is probably the other big museum that come here in addition to Madame Tussauds. There's a third wax museum over here on the left, the Hollywood Wax Museum. Loud cars going by, as you can hear. Uh, and so now this, maybe this one block is maybe where people get to, but then as we get down, this is really where the tourists don't make it all that much. And you might be thinking to yourself, Chris, where, where are all the people on this street? And again, with no international tourists, there's not that many, but they actually usually not that many this way. Oh, this is the Guinness Book of World Records Museum. Kind of a cool little place. Can you move a rock that weighs five and 5.5 tons? When it's on water, you sure can. Who was the tallest man right here? This guy measuring eight feet tall. That is pretty tall. There's another touristy museum on the left, the Museum of Illusions, along with the Giant's House and the Upside Down House. If you're looking for cheap things to eat, there's a lot of cheap restaurants here. Here's a Hollywood curry restaurant where you can get some Indian food. It's uh, 11 a.m., so I don't think they've quite opened up for business yet. Probably my favorite place to eat in Hollywood is in that Hollywood and Highland Mall. There's a place called uh, The Deck. It's like on the third floor. There's a pokey restaurant called Pokenometry. They sort of invented the pokey bowl in California. So I'd encourage you to check that out. Now, speaking of souvenirs, I recommend you check out that La La Land souvenir shop that we saw earlier. But there are a lot of other souvenir shops along the street. This one calls itself the best souvenirs. This one, souvenirs, sports and gifts. You know, the place where you can get $5 t-shirts and you can get your own little Oscar statue, those sorts of things. There are tons of gift shops. Oh, this, we should definitely talk about this. This, Scientology. This is the Los Angeles Information Center for Scientology, the famous religion that Tom Cruise is sort of the um, Hollywood entertainment spokesman for. A lot of people in the entertainment industry are in Scientology. Uh, I'm going to leave my discussion on Scientology there. This here, Pig and Whistle restaurant, dance club, this thing looks like it's pretty well closed. The pandemic has not done well for Hollywood Boulevard, and so a lot of things have closed up. This is a historic theater right here, the Egyptian that is going through what looks to be a bit of a change of hands and a remodel. So the Egyptian is still not open, but it's one of Hollywood's classic movie houses. If you see this in a couple of years, maybe that will be open again. That's a neat one to check out. More souvenir shops here on the right. 7-Eleven and a smoke shop next to it that looks like it probably almost never opens, I would say. On the left is the Pink Floyd exhibition. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street here to go on the side and check out Hot Mother Clucka. I'll come back to you when I cross the street. Okay, so as we're crossing the street, we can see one of these tours. This is kind of an open air tour. They're all waving because they're friendly people. That's good. You know, people who come here for the holidays are enjoying their time. I like that. All right, I came over to this side of the street because there's a few less street people hanging out on the street over here. Looked a little more savory on this side. Unfortunately, the pandemic definitely has created a large unhoused population in Los Angeles and they are hanging out here on Hollywood Boulevard. Less here in kind of the central core, uh, but if you were to keep going past Pantages by the 101 freeway, I saw a lot of 
encampments as I was driving my way over this way. These uh, Mexican restaurant here looks like it's starting to open up for the morning. This restaurant, Muso and Frank Grill, is the oldest restaurant in Hollywood. It's been here since 1919, so over a hundred years. It's got a little plaque on it that says so, and it's got another one right here too. So you can sort of follow some of these historic things and learn about it as you walk by. I think, uh, you know, it's not really maybe the safest area late at night to walk down here. As you can see, when these stores close, they really roll down, roll down the closing things. Um, you know, fences, gates, that sort of stuff. So I would probably, if you're gonna do this walk, definitely do this walk in the daytime. Speaking of tours, it seems like every gift shop has some sort of tour. This one selling tickets for Hi Ho Tours, which I think is a hop on, hop off tour. And uh, this whole walk, if you're walking it at a bit of a slower pace than I do, it's really neat to look at all the stars that are on the sidewalk and you know take pictures of your favorite ones all the stars have different symbols depending upon whether they were a movie person or whether they're a television person or whether they're like perry como here and they're a musician a recording artist a record person so those are some of the symbols you will see on those stars and that's what they mean right here is jimmy hendrix's star on the hollywood Walk of Fame. It's technically called Hollywood Boulevard, but also known as the Hollywood Walk of Fame for all of these famous stars that are here. And now, more things that just seem kind of closed. This looks like uh, what the Dudes Brewing Company, I'm gonna assume this is just not open yet in the day. On the right hand side over here, another part of the real Hollywood, we have a smoke shop, we have a souvenir shop, and then we have a dancewear shop. If you're dancing at uh, perhaps the local strip club, you can pick up your attire right there. Now it looks like here's one another, another one of those hop on, hop off bus tours, like the ones maybe they were selling for. Now the tickets here in front of this one. So this is a, another hop on, hop off bus tour. You see a lot of these that earlier one we saw was kind of big. These are sort of vans. I say this is like the classic style. That's a little bit of a van that they've cut off the top and you sit back there with about eight or 10 people. I guess that open air is fairly good during COVID times. Uh, let's see, there's a, a, what, payday loan place, car insurance, change services if you want to change your uh, foreign currency into dollars. I recommend the best exchange rate to do that though is just to get it from an ATM rather than from one of these currency exchange places. I don't think you'll get the best rates there. On the left is a dollar store, um, which I don't even know that they're open today. On the right is Hustler Hollywood famous Larry Flint Hustler magazine. This is one of their mega stores. Did I mention there are a lot of tours here? This is another tour company, the Access Hollywood Tours. And I guess to give you some shade, they've cut up the top, but they put a little white like, tent type structure on the top of it. Here's some pizza by the slice, not open yet. I've seen a lot of restaurants that just have signs that say, we're just closed right now, just because of the huge lack of people that are currently coming here. We got some city workers working on the Walk of Fame, working on the sidewalk here. The, the good part about this part of LA is this is one sidewalk that they maintain quite well. So it's flat, there aren't holes in it. Here's a neat mural on the side of this Hollywood perfume company. And then across the street, there's another one of those dancewear places. Uh, they say flirty dancewear fantasy costumes custom made just for you. So you can bring that back as a souvenir from Hollywood Boulevard. This store sells luggages, t-shirts and gifts, although I don't see any luggages in there. 
sure that sign has been there for quite a long time. More little restaurants here, a little tiny Mexican restaurant on the left. These people have a sign that says, labor dispute coming soon. Uh, what, all Adolfo Swaya properties is what it said, something like that. Here's a neat gift shop. I just like, this is like Chewbacca in front of this gift shop. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, shout out to Chewbacca right yeah. there. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Uh, I think if you're looking for some of the best pizza on Hollywood Boulevard, check out Joe's Pizza right there, a slice of New York, making pretty decent things. Oh, here's a uh, Hollywood exotic shop on this side so you can get a little closer up look of, you know, what these stores sell if you were so inclined. Okay, eight seconds to cross this street, but it looks like they're doing some construction, so uh, probably not gonna get run over by anybody crossing. There is a lot of construction going on on Hollywood Boulevard. You can see with these big cement trucks that are here. And so uh, it's funny to call this an up and coming neighborhood because it's one of the most famous neighborhoods in the world. And you would think that it was just glitz and glamor the whole time. And you would think that this is where you would see the Hollywood stars and you would think this is where they make movies, but almost none of that stuff is true. Uh, all the movies and production has pretty much moved out of Hollywood. You Jimmy Kimmel fairly new moving back in here. You can take tours of the sets at Universal Studios Hollywood, one of the few places still around Hollywood making movies. A lot of the movie companies have moved out to Culver City or uh, other parts of the Los Angeles area. Um, you know, Paramount, Sony Pictures, those are ones that all for, you know, 80 bucks or something, you can go in and take a couple hour tour and you are much more likely to see stars there than you are here on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, I mean, you'll see these stars that are on the sidewalk, but you won't see celebrities. On the right in the Julian Medical Building, there's an outpost of Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen, one of my favorite fried chicken places. We have another souvenir sh shop I just passed on the left that has its own hop on hop off bus tour. Seems like that is that you, if you're a gift shop, you have to also either operate or partner with a hop on hop off bus tour. I will caution you if you're walking here, um, be careful when you cross these streets because a lot of the traffic is left turn yield and they don't look too quickly at pedestrians. So you'll wanna make sure you, you don't get run over as you walk these streets. More signs here that talk about some of these classic buildings, this security trust building, you can't really see it because the trees, sort of the challenge of a walking tour. You know, you sort of see what I see forward, but you don't get to see up and around. That's why you gotta come and do this walk yourself. We are getting close to Pantages and the W Hotel. This walk is approximately an hour. This place, Dash Radio, looks like a radio production room, but uh, currently not, not doing anything right now. Uh, I'll point out parking I mentioned earlier. Uh, I parked to Hollywood and Highland. There is street parking that you can park here, but it has like these hours, you know, like only midday, other times of the day, it's no parking. Uh, you might end up getting your car towed if you park for a long time on Hollywood Boulevard. So my recommendation to you would be to just find a pay parking lot, pay for it, and don't worry about it. Continuing Scientology, this is the L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. Generally the guy who uh, is considered the founder of Scientology. So if you're interested to find out more about Scientology, you can check this out. Um, when, when it's open, it says open to the public, 9.30 to 10 p.m., but clearly, clearly not open today. A lot of these buildings are really classic looking buildings. This thing here um, that now has, what, what does it have down there? A gift shop with a hop on, hop off bus tour. That should probably be the theme for this video. The real Hollywood Boulevard, the street of the most hop on, hop off bus tours. Uh, I think in any city in the world, for sure. The other quote, 
I like about uh, Hollywood is that it is the home of the most famous sign in the world. Of course, the Hollywood sign, that sign in the hills, which actually when it was first built, it was called Hollywood Land, uh, and it was to help advertise some of the homes they were selling. Uh, they were gonna take it down, but people were like, we love that sign, and so they just kept it to say Hollywood few lunch trucks that are here in this parking lot. Oh, if you like pies, this place, the Pie Hole, has really good slices of pie. They're not cheap. They're gonna cost you, uh, you know, maybe six, seven dollars for those pies, but they are pretty good. That Pie Hole is at the intersection of Hollywood and Vine. This is kind of the second major intersection we have here in Hollywood. The W Hotel, which I think is one of the best hotels to stay here, is uh, this one you see right up here. The other really good hotel in Hollywood is the Lowe's Hotel, which is at um, the Hollywood and Highland Mall that we started at earlier. And this uh, Hollywood and Vine, there's also a subway station right here, but this is kind of the second most famous intersection because it's home to the Pantages Theater. This, I think, is the grandest theater in Hollywood. Uh, we've seen a lot of live shows at Pantages, including Wicked, The Book of Mormon. They're currently playing Hamilton. Uh, so if you have an opportunity to see a show at Pantages, I'd recommend it uh, sort of above all of the other ones. Oh, I wanna show you this here because this is another famous building right back there. That's the Capitol Records building. You've probably seen that in pictures of Hollywood and things like that. So that's just right here also at Hollywood and Vine. Uh, and then if you're a music fan right here on the corner, kitty corner from Pantages is Amoeba Music, probably the most famous uh, music store for records and things like that in the Los Angeles area. Uh, here is what the Pantages Theater looks like with a little bit of glare on it, but just a really old, neat, classic theater. Um, when they're open, this will be the lobby for tickets, uh, things like that. Okay, and here we're gonna look right at that uh, W Hotel that then has the um, subway entrance right underneath it. Really convenient if you're coming to LA and you don't have a car and you're just gonna be using public transit to get around because you've got the subway station right underneath. Ah, all right, and they've got a little gift shop here on the side of Pantages right now. They're selling stuff uh, from Hamilton. Now, if the last time, oh, here's another picture of like the Pantages when it's actually kind of like full and full of people. Uh, you can see it has that neat grand old theater. And in 2022, they're gonna be playing Moulin Rouge. All right, let's go ahead and cross this street. If it's been a couple years since you've been here, this stuff across from Pantages is all new, both on the left and the right. These used to be parking lots uh, that have now turned into these apartments, condominiums with uh, shops on the bottom. That Amoeba Music had a previous location, just recently moved to this one as their new location. So there's a, a CVS in here if you need a drugstore or need or drinks or things like that. Uh, across the street, you probably can't see the sign yet, but uh, Kitty Corner over there, there's a place called the Hollywood Hemp Museum. If uh, you are into that, I had no idea that there was a museum about hemp, but as you've noticed, there are a lot of very interesting museums here in Hollywood. Lots of wax museums, the illusion museums, and yes, even a hemp museum. And uh, there's a branch of Shake Shack here now in this new East Town apartment homes. Uh, I definitely love in and Burger, but I'm also a big fan of Shake Shack. So I think if you were looking for a burger on Hollywood Boulevard, Shake Shack would be a pretty good bet right here. And what I wanted to leave you with, really the lines, and this is a new place that opened here because this building's new, is the Funko store right here. Funko Pops, they sell all these like collectible bobbleheads and you notice there's this long line of people waiting for their Funko Pops because they sell like limited edition things, collectible things. And you might be looking at that and say, Chris, that, that line actually isn't that long. Um, but uh, it continues, 
it continues down there. I'm just gonna zoom in to show you that line down that way that goes on quite a bit. Oh, by the way, if you ever see one of these kind of like um, rainbow umbrellas that you see in the back, ooh, right there, that, that rainbow umbrella, that's usually a, a fruit stand in LA. And I said I wasn't gonna walk all the way down, but since we're here at the Hollywood Hemp Museum, these are some of the unhoused encampments that you'll see on some of the side streets around here. So you probably wanna stay on the main street or if you're walking, maybe just kind of walk here to the Funko store and then turn back. Fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this tour of the real Hollywood Boulevard, you might enjoy some of my other walking tours in Los Angeles. I got walking tours of the Santa Monica Pier. I've got walking tours of Venice Beach. I've got a whole bunch of other travel guides on LA. You'll find a link to some of those right here or also in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.